All right. One question people ask me is they say, they say, Daddy, which cardio machine is the best? And the answer is whatever one you'll use is the best one. However, when you do this workout routine, we're going to change things up a little bit. No, no cardio workout should be more than 10 minutes. Why? Because everything we're going to do is interval training. What's interval? Interval is high intensity followed by rest and recovery. So, for example, if I'm doing this machine, which by the way I've never done before, but this exercise will have no pressure on your hips, your lower back, your ankles, it's probably a safe machine, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to increase the intensity or the tension so that it's, so that it's a decent pull. I've got obviously a digital clock in front of me. For 30 seconds, I'm going to push it as quickly as I can. 30 seconds. Then, when I feel my heart rate is up, I'm having trouble keeping my breath, I'm going to slow it down. Let's say 30 seconds. When I felt myself slightly recover, I'll push it back up. Another 30 seconds. If I can, I'll increase the tension on the belt to make it so that it's a little bit harder to pull and push. Do my 30 seconds or maybe 40 seconds. Slowly recover. Now, let me preface this by saying you do need to make sure that your heart is strong enough and that your body is ready for this type of routine. So I would definitely suggest getting a doctor's checkup before you do something like this to make sure that you can handle because it is fairly intense. All right, so it's all about high, ten high intensity and then recovery. Ideally, what you're looking for is to be able to push those intense times a little higher and those recovery times a little shorter. If you can do something like 45 seconds of high intensity, 30 seconds of recovery, keep mixing it 45 and 30, you'll be on your way. Within 10 minutes or so, you should be absolutely spent. Now, when you're finished, slow it down slowly. Give yourself a little bit of a cool down. When you've given yourself, let's say, two to three minutes of cool down, you can release yourself. If at any point you finish this activity and you find yourself getting lightheaded, simple way to fix that, first of all, is to just Keep some flexion in your legs, keep the blood flow in your legs until you can feel it dissipate a little bit. But it probably means you haven't cooled down enough because the blood flow is leaving your legs and getting into your belly. So keep your legs a little bit flexed until you feel comfortable enough and then you can move on. Almost. This is one exercise you can do. Treadmill if you can handle running, if your knees and your back and your hips are okay. Treadmill is a phenomenal workout going from a high speed to a low speed recovery. And you can set it up so that you've got an interval training program on there. It's very effective. 10 minutes max, 12 minutes max. 13, no, 12, okay.